Wow, this place is electric. Is it, is it hey, something? Hey, Danny S. Aaron, this place is electric. This is going to be fun. You know, we don't recruit guys that don't like to play, so our guys really like to play. They, they like to put time in. They like being in the gym. It's so much more fun when you have guys who really love to play the game. Well, what I enjoy about being a head basketball coach is teaching. You know, we teach every day, three hours every day, you know, in the film room and being on the floor. And, and we teach guys about life. We teach guys about winning and losing. You know, we teach guys about working hard, about putting a full day's work in every day, uh, about showing up uh, with great enthusiasm. And, you know, I, I just believe when you show up with great enthusiasm, you can do tremendous things. Well, game day special, and game day special because all the work that you put in, you get to showcase that in front of the great fans and, and this great state and, and the people in this great state. So uh, game day for us is very special. Well, it means everything to me. Actually growing up here, it, it, it's coming home. It's, it's a dream come true for me, and, and I'm excited about taking us to the national championship. This is one of the great environments. There are no pro teams in the state of West Virginia. They love West Virginia sports right now. West Virginia here is a tough basketball team. This is a tough place to play when they get it going. Love this crowd. These people really get after it.
Is everything going the Mountaineers' way right now? You bet it is. The West Virginia Mountaineers are clearly having their way with Ohio State right now. Who'd have thunk it? It's been all West Virginia. Oh, it turned hard and fast in favor of West Virginia. Freshman plan for Bob Huggins and Devin Ebanks, Kevin Jones, Truck Bryan. A bright future for this program. Daryl Truck Bryan comes down the three. And then he smiles at the Maniacs, the Mountaineer Maniacs. Jones has a dozen dick. He's in double figures for the sixth game in a row, really stepping it up at the end of his freshman season. Devin Ebanks, it is scary how good he's going to be. But he's got big time talent, great demeanor, and he's, got, he's clearly got an aptitude for the game. Such a big part of what West Virginia likes to do, Vern. Turn you over and get points off those turnovers. Bob Huggins working his team hard right now. He's so emotional, so intense. That passion, that desire really becomes contagious on his people. You joke about consistency. What about Huggins? 23 out of 26 seasons in the postseason. But I think when you look certainly what he has done, he's taught kids how to play, play with emotion, play with passion. That's consistent. And that's really getting the most out of your people. 1977 graduate, Bob Huggins is back home, a two-time academic All-American while a student here. Says he loves it. they face man-to-man. -man. West Virginia goes into a five-out cut-and-fill offense. It does incorporate some flex cuts along the baseline. It's really good stuff. And Mike Gray wants a timeout. Nice screen to get a free little flex cut. A nice recovery. Leave this guy out. Wide open. Rule off for another three. It's really the ball movement and the crisp screening that is getting West Virginia so wide open on the offensive end. They move the ball and move themselves. Hard cuts. That offense is really pretty to watch, that cut and fill motion. Mike Bray is whipping through his timeouts. Wow. Deep. Shooting gallery. Now it's Deshaun Butler, and Butler says we'll push the lead back to 14 with a three. Good composure, poise, and then the knockdown by the senior. D Banks in the middle of the lane. Brian, got the three. <laughs> Is he happy to be in the city? Inside Ruan, fall from behind, and it counts. Big goal. Bob Huggins and West Virginia with their 22nd win of the year. West Virginia will meet Pittsburgh in the first night game tomorrow. The situation, the ability to elevate. Brown pass deflected, stolen by Ruoff. Ruoff driving down the other end of the floor. Layup shot, good. The ball deflected through Young's hands. Turnover. Back comes Deshaun on the other end. Three on two. Bounce pass left side. He banks. Layup, good, and a foul. He's the 
guy you have to pick up. Ruloff, beautifully executed play. Ruloff taking advantage of fields. This is a great little play. Smart. Bouncing, tipped up and in at the buzzer. What a play. Oh, what a cut, of course, by Ruoff, but that was the post-up mismatch taken advantage of. In transition, here's Truck driving, gives the ball to Evan. Oh, my goodness! A big smile on the freshman's face. Evan shattered that ball down with one hand, 45-37. West Virginia leads the second-rated Panthers. Biggie's basketball at his best. That young man has got game. And the number two seed in the Big East Championship, the number two team in the country, Pittsburgh, on the ropes now at the Garden, down by 14 after an 8-0 run by the Mountaineers. Step back, discard, and then nail it. But there's a young team coming into this stage against one of the two or three best teams in the country. A heck of a game by West Virginia. To left side, and Deshaun Butler, he'll try a quick three. He had it. The West Virginia University Mountaineers have shocked the number two rated Pitt Panthers, winning by a final score of 74 to 60. It's on to the semifinals of the Big East Conference Championship for the Mountaineers, and it is a great night to be a Mountaineer wherever you may be. Number six seed Mountaineers of West Virginia, again, coming out of the Big East. Everybody with their feet in the air. I think this is the biggest and loudest crowds they have ever had for a game this year. Well, they get so excited about a sporting event here. Oh, yeah, right. Let's go, let's go, baby. Let's get in the wheel on three, one, two, three. Yeah.